What's going on everybody? It's a political expert here coming at you guys with another video. Okay, so the draft is completely done. I was gonna do a live thing, but then I, I was like, nah, I'm gonna sit here, go through so much footage and sit here and you guys gotta see me react and and I'm not all for that. My reactions were kinda like okay, okay, okay. Um somebody wrote to me asking me when I was gonna do a video on my opinion about these draft picks um, I'm gonna come out right out and saying um, Bob Quinn is a genius let's give it up to this man let's just hope these draft picks at least four of them could be even pro bowlers how much of a better team we look now and how much of a better organization we are through these draft picks, last year's draft picks, we're coming in here looking like a real team. Like we're really trying to make a lot of noise. Now I'm not saying don't get too excited just yet. There's still a lot that we need to get through. And at the same time, there's still a lot of holes that did not get filled, which I wish they did. But it looks like we're going to have to wait on a couple of those holes and I'll explain through them through this video. Uh, so let's get, I'm just going to do... A section of each picks or I'll just go through them all but might as well so first pick is uh, Jared Davis linebacker now we had a chance to get Dalvin Cook we had a chance to get Reuben Foster we had a chance to get TJ Watt um, why we picked Jared Davis he's a leader he's not broken he's not there's no there's no criminal record there's no suspicious activity about him Ruben Foster hits really hard. He's a really good... I think he's going to be a pro bowler this year. He hits hard. He plays hard. But he's got a shoulder injury. That's why he dropped. Um, as you guys saw in the combine, he started fights when they told him he couldn't, he couldn't participate in the combine. And then he was sent home. Dalvin Cook, there's got to be a reason. And that reason is he's got a hamstring problem. He can't run a full, game, a full season. You've seen it in his college. Like I think I've seen him play 13 games. Maybe I wait, no 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 sorry I'm 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 speaking wrong. I think I've seen him play like eight full games. The rest of the games he's sit because he's either hurt or they don't want him to get hurt. Jared Davis is a leader. He's gonna sit there in that linebacker core and go, okay, this is what we need to do. Whitehead is our guy, but Jared Davis could take that role over. Pretty quick. That rollover where DeAndre Levy was at. Was that leader linebacker. That defensive linebacker to control the whole defense. And I think Jerry Davis is our guy. Which I'm excited to see. To see what this kid can do. Then we go out and we take the kid uh, Tease Tabor. Alright, now listen. I know he's not the fastest. But he can play cover too. We need a guy to take the slot inside. Or take the second best wide receiver. This guy is the most NFL ready cornerback in the league. The only reason why he got knocked down so far is because he can't keep up. He's not fast. But he doesn't need to be. He's the most shut down corner besides Sidney Jones. That was healthy. We got a steal in this number two pick. We got a steal. He's the most. Scouts were saying he was the most. NFL ready quarterback cornerback just because of his capabilities on spotting the, the the wide receiver and spotting the quarterback's eyes. It's ridiculous how we got this guy to fall to us. And we got a Florida connection going on. It's great. There's still more Florida connection coming on. I'm excited. Can't you see? I'm excited. Um and then we went out and we got a target. Uh Kenny Galladay. Okay, now most people don't know who he is. I didn't really catch what he was. I had to go look up a couple things. I remember seeing him in the combine. He was pretty fast. He was like he ran like a four, like a four two seven, almost a four three. But the kid is six four. He's six four. Again, he's six four. You just need to throw the ball in the air like we did with Calvin. Just throw it in the air and let the kid do the work. 6'4! And he ran like a 4'2! 4'3! 
That's tremendous for somebody his size. Anyways, I'm excited for that pick too. Great third rounder. Even though we should have taken a running back. But I'll take it. I guess Bob Quinn trusts our running backs. Linebacker, Jalen Reeves Maben. Why did we draft him? I'll tell you why. Because he can tackle. The kid can play. I've watched a couple Tennessee games this year. The kid can play. Okay? This kid is going to be an outside back. He's going to be a pass rusher on that outside. And he's going to hit the running back. Dalvin Cook is going to get laid out. Jordan Howard is going to get laid out. Whoever Green Bay decides to throw in there is going to get laid out by this kid. I guarantee it. Remember that name. Jalen Reeves Maven. The kid can tackle. And he can hit. Not as hard as Ruben Foster, but the kid can hit. I'm excited. We already looking nice. We are already looking nice. We still have a lot more holes, but we're slowly getting there. We, we, we finished the O-line. The O-line looks amazing. Bob Quinn came out and said this is a defensive draft. And it, it so far was. He took his first four picks. Three of them were defensive needs. Linebacker in a corner. He got two linebackers. Where our weakest spot was. We had Miles Kilbrew play linebacker at one point. That's how low we were. Tight end, Michael Roberts. Who's 6'5". He's like 270. But he's 6'5", and he ran like a 4'6". That's fast for 270. This guy is a human wrecking ball. He's going to be a red zone threat. I feel so bad for Eric Ebron. I really do. Because you're going to go down in history to being a draft bust, especially in a first rounder. You couldn't do it. You couldn't get the job done. You can't catch the fucking ball. Excuse my language, but you can't catch the ball. So we went out and we got a six, six foot five guy who weighs 270 pounds who can catch the ball in the end zone. Someone to rely on. Because you're unreliable. Guess what? I hate to tell you this. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't do what you need to do, you're gone. I'll get to that in a minute at the end of this. I want to get through these guys before I go ahead and on my little rant. Jamal Agnew, another corner. He is a cover guy. We have, we have three new corners. I know DJ Hayden has had his moments and he's almost a draft bust. But he's going to come to this team where he's not expected to be the guy. When Oakland drafted him, he was expected to be this person. Plus the, the situation that he was in, plus the things he had to deal with. Slay is our guy. He's going to take the number one guy no matter what. We got three new guys, one in free agency, two in drafts. I've never really seen a Jamal Agnew. He could be, you know, he could be another Carter. He could be another, um, uh, he could be uh, Lawson. He could be another one of those. That, that, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. But we got another corner, depth is what we needed, and we got it. Defensive tackle, Jeremiah Ledbetter. Sounds like bedwetter. But anyways, um, guy to plug a hole. He's death. It's just what it is. It's death. Pat O'Connor, uh, defensive end rusher. Death, someone to help out on that. Bob Quinn is smart. The smartest dude to come in this draft today. Sorry, I'm a little excited. Well, anyways... Those are draft picks. Go check them out. Go check out the film. Uh, Kenny Galladay, he's tremendous. He's like he's huge. Michael Roberts is huge. He looks nice. Uh, Tease Tabor, the film don't lie. The draft combine looked bad. But you go ahead and you watch his highlights and you tell me if that's the same person. I'd rather watch them on the field, put in work every day, than watch that combine. I'm serious. I think I watched the combine for like running backs and wide receivers. Corners, it's a little sticky because it, it's just, you know, it's just how it goes. And Jared Davis, oh, please, just just be a leader. Just be a leader. But you know what this draft 
is telling me right now, Bob Quinn has a plan. You know what that plan is? You better start playing. You better start winning because your job's at stake. There's three corners. Carter, um, was it, is it Diggs? No, it's like, um, oh, what's his name? I forgot his name. But then there's Lawson. All three guys. Contract year. Bring in DJ Hayden. Draft Tease Tabor. Draft Jamal Agnew. If you don't work, fellas, bye-bye. Job's out the door. You no longer have a spot on the Detroit Lions. Good, because you're trash, and you couldn't block anybody. You couldn't stop anybody. Hell, Green Bay ran all over us. Chicago. Chicago, who won three games all year, made your team, my team, our team, your defensive corners look like scrubs. Like people who should not be in the league. Not anymore. Linebackers. Baines. Wallow. Hell, even Williams. Hell, even Tahir, Whitehead. Fellas. That's two linebackers that were taken in the draft in the top five. Five rounds. If you don't work out, you just done did lost your job. Tremendously. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. Eric Ebron. We have this kid, Michael Roberts. He doesn't need to be the greatest. He just needs to catch the ball. Especially in the end zone. Especially in a five yards, which we need. And for you not to drop the ball. Stop worrying about what you look like and what your cleats look like every day. And start catching the fucking ball. If you don't work, you're gone too. I guarantee it. Amir Abdullah, Theo Riddick, Dwayne Washington, Zach Zenner. Bob Quinn is trusting you. He built this O-line for you guys to work. He's named Amir Abdullah as the starter. If you are not healthy and you cannot get things done, Bob Quinn will come into the next draft. And guarantee you, I bet you the first two picks will be a running back. Bob Quinn's not playing anymore. I've just now noticed it's the first draft. I was kind of seeing what he would do. This draft, I'm seeing what he's doing. It's what we need, and it's what's easily replaced. Don't mess it up. Do not mess it up this year. We were a playoff team with nothing. Now we got guys in the. Uh, we got a lot of guys to help out. I'm not saying all these guys are going to be pro bowlers. I'm not saying all these guys are going to be good. What I'm saying is, is that <laughs> you get hurt, you better hope to God this kid's not as good as he looks. Because you're replaced very quickly. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. I know I feel a little high heated today. It's only because I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm ready for the football season. Green Bay. Minnesota. Chicago, it's on, it's on, like Donkey Kong, it's on, alright guys, thanks for watching, please comment, subscribe, you guys can catch me on Twitter, it's the real cast, 12, real, un, all capital, uh, cast, C-A-S, 12, just hit me up on Twitter, let me know what you guys think, let me know how you guys feel, alright y'all, I'm out, peace.